Lino Mudu with an update on MPOX. Hello, Lino. Hello, Esther. That's right. The Democratic Republic of Congo is experiencing the worst of an ongoing outbreak of MPOX, which is ongoing in parts of Africa. More than 12,000 people have been diagnosed with the disease, and at least 470 people have died, according to government data. The World Health Organization says a more virulent and deadlier form of the disease found in Congo, clade 1B, is spreading beyond its borders. Over 4,200 case, cases have been recorded in 10 African nations, including Burundi, Ghana, Kenya, Nigeria, Rwanda, and South Africa. Mpox, formerly known as monkeypox, is a virus that causes fevers, headaches, and muscle aches, as well as painful boils on the skin. It spreads from person to person through close skin-to-skin -skin contact. In rare cases, it can be deadly. The WHO is examining whether the latest outbreak should be declared a global public health emergency. Joining us from Lagos, Nigeria, for more insight is Dr. Sande Aremu Omilabu, Professor of Medical Virology with the College of Medicine at the University of Lagos and Director of the Central Research Laboratory at Lagos University Teaching Hospital. Professor Omilabu, thanks for joining us. How concerning is the ongoing MPAX outbreak in Africa? Thank you for having me. Uh, it's a serious uh, uh, situation uh, because we know Mpox is uh, contagious, and of course, uh, and you know, the drivers has to do with unhygienic uh, environment, and as we know, it's a zoonotic disease which originally transmits from animals to human, and to control it, so we have to maintain an hygienic environment. And then we have to imbibe cleanliness. Hand washing, we prevent transmission. And then of course, we know it causes eruption on the skin. And a few days after, you can see fluid coming out of uh, the blisters that form. These fluid are highly infectious. And uh, in the population in, the, in Africa, and of course, coupled with uh, uh, poverty and uh, uh, the overpopulation in some cases. So it's difficult to control transmission. So efforts must be put in place to stem it. Uh, we know the cause, it's the virus, uh, the pox virus, uh, which after containing smallpox is the uh, next pox virus that is actually disturbing human being. So, Professor, the... Professor, let yeah, me ask you this. Um, speaking of uh, zoonotic diseases that you mentioned, a few years back, West Africa experienced an outbreak of Ebola. How much uh, of uh, that experience is guiding uh, the strategy for this cross-border transmission with MPAX? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, with the incident of uh, Ebola uh, in the 2013-2015, uh, we've learned a lot of lessons and uh, which uh, most countries uh, put in place uh, a lot of efforts, especially queuing behind the IHE, International Health uh, Emergencies, uh, which are actually has been coordinated making sure that countries uh, uh, prevent transmission. And uh, a lot of activities are ongoing uh, in uh, most African countries. Even though these activities are not uh, enough, uh, coupling with the fact that uh, economic downturn uh, is really affecting uh, putting adequate measures to stem down uh, uh, outbreaks. Uh, the, the, the lesson learned from Ebola is actually okay. uh, enormous and it's actually uh, seen the impact on the healthcare provision in the, uh, in, the, in the continent. And briefly, there is no vaccine readily available. How can people protect exactly. themselves? Exactly. There is no vaccine yet. And of course, what? And there's no drug either. 
all the drugs are being, uh, they are just going through a uh, testing stage. So the only measure that can stem me is to actually maintain what we call barrier nursing while they are being attended to. And then, of course, while at home, we should uh, make sure we don't have close contact uh, with the uh, confirmed uh, cases. Okay. Because through it coming from those okay. rashes, we have pressure. to leave it there, Professor. I, I apologize. Uh, thank you so much, and we will continue the discussion during the radio show. That was uh, Professor Omila Abu joining us. I am Linor Moudou to find me. Find me on Twitter, actually, on X, <laughs> at Linor Moudou. Back to you, Esther.